nine. Hello again. And let's have a look. And you can see our plants are growing. Look! Our plants are growing, Miss Mowley. Our plants are growing. Our plants are growing. Yay! Do you think of my growing plants, Miss Mowley? Do you like my growing plants? Have you sped the time up? I have sped the time up. I'll slow it down again. And then I'll speed it up again. Why are only five growing? And I'll speed it up again. Because I made a batch of five of them. And they're growing again. And they're growing some more. They're growing, they're growing, they're growing! We've got the dame running in version 0.21. Should Kirby not be growing a beard or something while he's watching? He's watching his plants grow. <laughs> well, maybe I could do an animated beard growth. I don't know, maybe that is possible. I can, I can do growth. You can see all the plants, they're growing nicely. Oh, that's better when you go in. Yeah, okay, we'll go in. inside. See, look, they've grown a lot. Look at how much they've grown now. And they're still growing even more. And they're managing to grow without being in the soil as well. They're in hydroponics. Oh look! Haven't you got nice juicy melons, Miss Meowly? Haven't you got nice juicy melons? You have, haven't you? We've grown some nice melons on the moon, yay! We've grown some melons on the moon! Can I test sample your melons now? <laughs> just exploded. Look! We've got some giant melons now. <laughs> And obviously, if you leave it Where too long... Where should we track to harvest them? Oh, he's... Oh, and They're look. bigger than Kerbal's head. Come on. And look, they've uh, all wilted and died now because we, we, left it, we left it too long and they've all wilted and died. I don't know. And if you look at that, wherever it was... Uh, I think they shrink first. I don't think they just <laughs> go from giant to zero. Well, this is, that's because they've, they've died now because you've uh, left it too long. But the whole idea is there was meant to be a harvestable... Um, uh, flag, and a I'm trying to work out how to make a part, uh, a part trigger so that the harvester's blade is in the d in the part trigger box when the melons are in harvestable state. You, they will go back to frame one, and you will get uh, an extra resource, extra one melons or extra five melons in this case. Or in your case, I might have a two melons. Uh, I might is this just not the same as what the farm bill was? It's a sp I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to make a space farm bill, yes, quite right. Um, uh, it, it, it's taking a, a long time to make, obviously, and I haven't got everything everything quite I wanted in this yet. Uh, there were a load of complaints about this certain um, alien dancer girl, which... Uh, well, I'm not even going to go down that track. It was just such a... It was such a fiasco. I love how Kerbal runs. That's amazing. Well, I, I like my hydroponics. I, you know, I like my, uh, I like my hydroponics bays and my <coughs> hemp plants, which I got into trouble for on the forums, and my uh, sodium strip bulbs, and my pipes and things. So the law on the moon is the same law as here, is it? Uh, well, I've tried to argue that show me writing in law, uh, any, anything about you know, certain plants that you can or cannot grow on Muna or Luna jurisdiction, but um, Muna. the space police, i.e. Captain Skunky, Ted and Salvager and, uh, you know, all the moderators who I call the space police, uh, okay. they're, they're not really happy with the with my dome and they keep trying to hunt me down and every time I try and uh, advertise, uh, you is know... Is it because it's poor quality or is it because of the content? Um, it's, it's more the content. I mean, you know, I've had a number of people complain about the textures and saying, <laughs> oh, well, 
you know, we don't like this, this is a 3D age, why are you still using sprite-based uh, <laughs> walls and stuff? Well, I argued that, you know, it's such a big base, I tried to save memory, because when I was doing all 3D, um, you know, last year, it was just going chug, 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 and now I've done it all sprite-based, it runs loads better, I can make this giant base where I can walk around anywhere I want, and yeah, I can walk all the way around the outside of the rim, and, you know, uh, there's loads of tubs and things I haven't added here yet. Um, I was going to, but um, I got lazy. Where'd you get the water? Um, I'm trying to. I'm trying to work out a way of coding the a resource so you can have a water tank, and you can um, mine uh, water out of uh, the moon in the form of ice, and then you get water. And I was hoping you can get certain minerals like potash, phosphate, nitrate, which are important um, uh, hydroponics and then you feed them into the hydroponics tanks and every um, 4,000 seconds or whatever it uses up two potash, it uses up three nitrate and two phosphate and then it makes a bit of growth and if you don't have a certain amount of uh, phosphate or uh, nitrate or potash or water um, in a certain time frame then you get a uh, then you know your plant just immediately goes to frame 64 and goes to death mode and just wilts and dies a lot of this hasn't yet been finished It's it, it's a work in progress, but the fact that I've managed to get it into version 0.21, I think, is an achievement. Because before it, it was just uh, it was just not happening, and uh, there's my secret secret uh, entrance there that I meant to have a node collider to, but didn't. And that's how well you know whenever you had a game levels of Sonic where they didn't put a uh, a node collider in, there was like a secret room, wasn't there? You know, but no, I actually just didn't put a node collider there, and. Um, yeah, I'm this quite impressed at how he walks through walls as well. He doesn't usually walk through walls. I mean, I have, I have to just double check to see if he can't walk through this wall as well, make sure I haven't put a no collider through this one. Ah, uh, yeah, there is there is no no collider on that as well. I need to change that. Um, obviously, I, did, I intentionally didn't put a no collider on that, so you could uh, walk through here. And um, here's the airlock bay, the other airlock bay that I've not yet finished. And there's nothing connected to this door here. I haven't put anything down there yet. Uh... Yeah. Well, we can still go to the rest of the base. I feel like I should be playing Laser Quest or something. Well, I did want to build this giant um, complex that, you know, you can land your star bug in through this giant uh, hangar bay and, you know, through these gaps up here. As, and the, you know, the, the VTOL bay doors will open and close and it'll pressurise. Uh, and then the lift comes down. I mean, I'm sure you've seen our previous animations. I haven't yet brought the lift into version 0.21 yet. This is just a test run, just to show that I can get the biodome into 0.21. It is the biodome will now grow plants. You know, that's the, that's the newest feature about it. Um, the stage. It used to have a performer, but um, <laughs> uh, we we flushed her out of the airlock in in the last version, didn't we? So uh, we don't have performers. So we need to think about. Um, what we're going to do with the stage arena here. I mean, are we going to have a load of uh, sprite-based uh, um, characters here just going around doing things? I don't know. Are we going to have polygon-based characters running around doing things? I mean, if I have it's polygon characters... Empty. Well, it's, it's, a big, it's a big building, and you've got to fill it with lots of stuff and also be worried about memory. Where uh, does Kerbal sleep? Um, I haven't built the quarters yet. I did have the quarters in Red Dwarf, and I did have quarters in the last version of Biodome. Um, cardboard box process had gave me a bright go and saying I don't like your 1950s style of uh, um, family homes. So you know we're trying to think, trying to make it a bit more space age. You know. Um, needs to go to IKEA. Yeah, actually, uh, we should take we should take some photos of IKEA or something, and <laughs> uh, that would give us some, some good ideas. But uh, yeah, so what? So what do you think of my biodome then, Lexi? All things considered, I mean, th there's the whole dome there. I mean, it hasn't got any of the airlocks in at the moment. It's not in a flight-worthy state. But you know, the flyable level is still, um, you know, it's it's there. Should you not make it a bit smaller and then it's more manageable to actually do everything, rather than have this giant. Well, I haven't finished it yet. I want to fit loads more stuff in it. I mean, people said I should put a train station in the bottom, and people <laughs> said... You don't save Kerbal's legs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the people said I should put landing legs on it, and that's what these giant um, uh, truss segments are for. They're going to have these giant, uh, like, spider-like legs with solar panels on. the fact that Kerbal has to run around the whole biodome 
Well, they, uh, well, we, well, we wanted to be able to drive around it, hence why I made these ramps rather than stairs. It's just that, that everyone suggested that I should make all the ramps a bit wider so that the vehicles can get around it a bit easier. But can you make them spiral? It sort of does, it's just that if Isn't I had... That's not spiral. Like circular. Well, you can't make a circle, but you can make like, an octagon, or you can make a dodecahedron. Or you, you know, how, how many sides do you want it to be? I've got four sides, so it does sort of spiral, but it spirals... Um, 90 degrees to each other. All you need is a lift, is it not? Don't well, there is a lift, but the lift only goes from the bottom of the VTOL bay to the top of the dome. You mean you need a separate lift to take you from the command deck down to the Which airlock? Level? And, uh, you know. Well, the problem with having a lift in Kerbal is uh, if you have an animation, it'll just go from this floor and then reverse down and go down to the bottom floor. And if you want to make it go to individual floors, you will need a bit of code. There probably is a way of doing it. But you've just got a big empty shell at the moment. Well, I haven't, I haven't fit loads of stuff in there. And remember, you know, I've spent a whole five weeks not being able to use my computer but because Megan was hogging the computer and using it to make it the centre abuse on Facebook. And then version 0.21 came out and yeah, loaded exactly. my stuff from 0.19. I, I, didn't, I didn't really play 0.20. I went from 0.19 straight to 0.21 pretty much just because I've spent the last five weeks not doing Kerbal. Yeah, but by the time you actually get this done, they'll have a new edition and then you won't be able to fit it in again. You'll have to recode it. Let's hope not. Let's hope that version 0.22 is pretty compatible with 0.21. Uh, there are, I have to say, there are some things I do like about 0.21. Um, you know, namely, I do like the new, uh, the new way the um, the VAB Center works. I mean, if I show you that and I say uh, Space Center, yeah, I'll show you the Space Center. It's it's actually really cool how they've done it, because before you d you couldn't move around the Space Center. You were just it was just all on one screen. Whereas now, um, oh dear, it's uh, it's crashed.